hate to bury a friend, but there was a spot um, for uh, Sean Waltman to come in on a run-in. And it, it, he was, in, in Sean's defense, he was blind. So the run-in was miscued. And uh, there was also, uh, Ming and Barbarian were also, it was a six-man tag match. So it, it turned into a cluster. And Sags did, Sags did something. Sags threw the chair into the ring. And if I'm not mistaken, it was like uh, a Brunswick bowling chair. It wasn't a, a hard folding. Plastic. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a folding chair. So when Scott, you know, and the way they used to light back then wasn't you know some kind of a truss situation. It was basically the ring was lit, and then outside of that, it was basically dark space. So to take an object and throw it from that light down to somebody it was like once it came through that light and the chair hit um, Jerry like if this was the the seat of the chair it hit him like almost like that so um, he slid back in and I was in the corner and, and you know and, and, and things are getting elevated in physicality and Ming's starting to lay it in. And I'm like, like I'm, I'm thinking like D he, and I'm starting to like fight you know like start to get pissed and I said to him, I said, hey, easy. Like, you know, like, what are we doing here? To Ming. You know? Yeah, to Ming. And, you know, and now it's one of those situations of we have to. So I'm trying to get loose from Ming and Barb in the corner. And then sat, our knobs peeled a Barb off. And I'm t just turning to the referee and going, fucking DQ it. You know, it's turned into, it's like, this is, would be a DQ, fucking DQ the match. So, in the meantime, Sags comes under the bottom rope, and I see him and Scott exchanging blows in the middle of the ring. And finally, you know, I got, I went out, outside, folded a, the, the announce table, came in and picked the, opened it up and picked the announce table up over my head. And they all bailed on it. I turn around and Scott is just pouring blood out of his nose and his mouth. And I mean, I was livid. And I went in the locker room, I grabbed a bat, and I think it was, Knobs or Sags were sitting there and I swung the bat like right above their head. Like that far above their head. And I was gonna fucking, I mean, I was gonna kill him. And, cause it's my boy. And, Scott says, no, nah, man. He said, he thinks he's right. You know, he said, that's one thing about Scott, you know, he just like, ah, he, he's, he thinks he's right. So, Scott went home, he had to get dental work done because he busted some teeth and shit. And so I kept the bat. And then the next night we were in maybe Alexandria or someplace else. And I remember that Duggan, walked the nasty boys in the back and I was sitting on a car with a baseball bat and Duggan looked at me and said, he said, I'm not a part of this. And I said, fine, you're not a part of it. And I just looked at the other two motherfuckers and I just, just looked at them. And then Knobs, who wasn't involved in the situation, came up to me later and said, hey, wait, we've been friends for a long time. You know, this is between those guys. I said, no, it ain't, man. No, it ain't. This is the thing. So then we went to, to um, New Orleans for Nitro. And Eric was going to fire the Nasty Boys on the spot. Really? And it was basically Scott's call, and Scott said no. So... The long story, uh, uh, the, the longer story of this is, you're going to ask me another question, so, and I, I know where this is going, so I'll let you answer it. Ask the no, question. No, go ahead. Yeah, say which. Well, I'm, I'm just saying that, that 
There was an incident that happened earlier where mm -hmm. Scott had thrown a chair at him in another t televised event mm. and hit Jerry in the head. And Jerry, we were like, we, we, it was the next TV, Jerry looked right at JJ and said, I can't work, man, my neck's bad. And fucking JJ said to him, just fucking go out there and work. Like basically force him to work. And I was, I witnessed that. I mean, I witnessed that. And I, when, when, when all this shit went down and they sued and everything else, I said, you stupid motherfucker. I said, you put us in a lawsuit. I said, if you just would have went after the company, the guys that were involved in the incident, one of them would have said, oh, by the way, he should have never been in either of those two had he been pulled at that point with the neck injury. Because you can recount what you heard yes. you say to him, yeah. And I would, have, I would have deposed me. I mean, it's like, I, never fuck the boys. You don't sue the boys, you don't fuck the boys. It's the boys versus the promoter. That's the way it's always been. They broke the golden rule. I think fucking SAG's got a fucking, didn't work for fucking three years and got a $12 settlement, you know? So... Nice, nicely fucking played.